Do you like cats? Hey guys, uh, thanks for uh, tuning in to another Who Likes Back Issues. Um, did a haul last week, and I did a haul uh, yesterday. Um, got some awesome books. Uh, most of them are just stories that I want to check out, and also the usual, filling in some holes. But uh, this one over here I found, I think it was two weeks ago, I'm not sure, or three weeks ago. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Raphael number one, first appearance of Casey Jones. This is the Ninja Turtles first one shot. All right, guys, another book that I've been looking for. Uh, Marvel Preview presents number two, The Punisher. Yeah, I'm a huge Punisher fan, as you guys know. And uh, I've never seen this book for cheap. Um... I, I found it for super cheap. Uh, it was a no-brainer for me to pick it up, regardless of condition. I think it looks pretty good to me. So uh, this is awesome. I love the Grey Morrow um, painted covers. Man, it's just phenomenal stuff. That is another, this is another holy grail of mine. G.I. Joe, number 21. Yes, this is the silent issue. And also Storm Shadow's first appearance. Uh, this to me is one of my modern age, oh, I guess modern copper age, uh, holy grails. I love G.I. Joe, I love the toys, I love the cartoon, and I love the comics, obviously. So this is, this is just phenomenal stuff. Larry, Larry Hama's art, uh, inside the book is just awesome, man. So, yeah. If you ever see this up, see this for cheap, man, I, I think you guys... I recommend you guys pick it up. Nothing special here. Uh, X Men Adventures number one. Uh, just remind me of the cartoon, so uh, I picked it up. It's for fifty cents, and I've never seen it before. I, I do collect Batman Adventures, so why not dive into the X Men Adventures? I am a huge X Men fan, by the way. And I did buy some more X Men yesterday. Uh, mostly were upgrades, but in some awesome, awesome books that I'm just. Keep it to myself for now, and I'm going to do a huge X-Men video. I found Wonder Woman number 271. Um, I only got this book mainly because this is Helena Wayne's uh, uh, first like solo story in a book. And um, I'm a huge fan of Helena Wayne, the original Huntress. And also, this I was reading it, and I noticed that this is... Uh, an origin, like a rebooted origin for Wonder Woman. And uh, apparently Steve Trevor died, and he's they brought him back in this issue. Classic so. right here, Creep Show, the graphic novel. This is uh, 1982's, uh, this is Bernie Wrightson, George Romero, Stephen King's um, uh, graphic novel from 1982. This, I love this movie as a kid. And when I found this, I was I was freaking out. I couldn't believe I found this. Yeah, this uh, this is incredible stuff. I'm a huge fan of Bernie Wrightson. I love love the horror movies. So, man, look at this splash. I'll open it up for you here. Check it out, Bernie Wrightson. Spider Man 175. Uh, I'm showing my amazings because it's. I don't. I'll never finish. I'll never finish the run. So I don't care about showing my amazing Spider-Man. Now this is the death of Hitman 175. Uh, 176 is um, Bart Hamilton becomes Green Goblin. So uh, what else do I got? I have number 250. Judging by the cover, you guys know who it is. That's JRGR. And number 259, we have um, the Mary Jane origin. This is, I uh, remember in 252, you know, Spider-Man dons the symbiote suit, and uh, he takes it off. Uh, Reed Richards has it in this issue. 
So he's running some tests, and uh, he puts on the original costume. This is uh, basically this is like I guess the first um, telling of Mary Jane's origin. I think. I don't know, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong. Judge Dredd, 2008 monthly. Um, Brian Bowen, I love Brian Bowen's Joker, so I, and I love Brian Bowen's art. One of my favorite artists of all time. He does the covers for this uh, for this title, and uh, Alan Moore stories included. So I can't wait to check the, check that out. This is a birthday comic of mine, October 1978. That's right, and of course my birthday comic has to feature Saturday Night Live. Doctor, love that Bye. show. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Monkeybot, uh, Dark Knight 40 Nate, and uh, Scott Grady, um, they got me on this uh, fear agent. They got me intrigued with this fear agent thing. So uh, I, found, I found fear agents, so I bought them. There's issue one. Rick Remender, Tony Moore, number two. Love these covers. You guys like these covers? Guess what? All these single issues. Here's number four. I left number four naked with no board. All these single issues have a cover at the back. Look at that cover in the back. Incredible science fiction. That's a homage to the golden age sci-fi books. So I can't wait to pick up the rest. I, they do have a lot. Where I found these, they have, I think, almost the whole run. There's number five. There's number six. It's awesome covers, man. A lot like Black Science. Has some uh, Trillium uh, things to it, I noticed. But there's uh, number eight. This is Jerome Penna. I think Jerome Penna took over. I don't know what in the issue. Uh, maybe five. I wasn't paying attention. There's number nine and number ten. Batman 472, Marshall Rogers cover. Uh, I love Marshall Rogers so much. I know Sean Rias loves his art as well. Um, fantastic story involves Hugo Strange. Hugo Strange is actually Batman. Um, he uh, dis he knows that Batman is Bruce Wayne. Tries to auction off his identity, and. Um, and something happens to Hugo Stranger. You guys gotta read it. Yes, he dies. We know he doesn't die, but this is a great issue. Um, I love that. I think that's Ross Andrew. I'm not sure. No, it's not. And one of my favorite covers of all time. Detective number 546. Giordano cover and G. Colon interiors. Uh, I, don't, I do not collect... Detective Comics, that's why I'm showing these, I don't, um, to me, I don't know, I just don't collect Detective, but when I find them for cheap like this, for like a couple of cents, I, uh, I pick them up, but I'm my Batman, I'm like really heavy in the Batman run, so those are the books for now, um, I don't know guys, I might do another video, maybe tomorrow, with the other, the other, uh, comics I picked up that short a short box haul I did about a month ago I filled up a short box for a hundred bucks and uh, I got a lot of good stuff in there nothing keys no keys whatever like that just filling in some crazy holes so that's it guys see you later